There are some animals that definitely look like they don't belong in our world. Here are nine animals that look like they're from another planet. Number nine, the proboscis monkey. To kick off our alien animal list, let's start with the proboscis monkey, an extremely interesting species of primate whose distinct look would definitely land them apart in the Planet of the Apes franchise. In fact, they're so different looking from other monkeys, researchers weren't sure they were monkeys at first. You'll be able to tell them apart from other species by their very large noses that hang down their face, sometimes even reaching their mouths, especially the males. The females will usually choose males with bigger noses when it comes to selecting a mate, since they indicate the ability to produce louder calls. The louder, the better. Their noses can be up to seven inches long. Males of the species are much larger than the females, weighing about 56 pounds, while females only weigh about 20 pounds. These strange monkeys are extremely unique, and you can only find them on the island of Borneo. They like to live in the lower swampy regions of the forest. Their webbed feet make them excellent swimmers, and they love to play in the water. People have spotted them walking in single file lines along trails in the forest in upright positions similar to the way students would walk to class. Their fur is light brown with tones of red near their head and shoulders. The proboscis monkeys look like they eat more than other monkeys, but that's just due to their body shape in the stomach area. They pretty much only consume insects and mangrove shoots and leaves. Fun fact, in the Egyptian culture, they were worshipped as very unique animals and believed to be special to the gods. What's unfortunate about these otherworldly looking creatures is that their population has decreased by 50% over the last 40 years. So let us humans get to work to save this natural curiosity from extinction. Number eight, the goblin shark. This next creature is a little creepy looking. It definitely looks like it came from another planet. The goblin shark is a really fascinating yet freaky creature. In fact, it got the name goblin shark by Japanese fishermen who cut it off the coast of Japan and were reminded of the long-nosed, red-faced demon called Tengu. They started calling it Tengu Zame, Zame meaning shark in Japanese. Its most noticeable features are the lengthy snouts, also called the rostrum, and their teeth. Their long snout is equipped with sensing organs that help them hunt their prey by detecting the electrical field the prey gives off. Their long and scary teeth are visible even with their mouths fully closed. It's a little scary that they have so many teeth that they aren't able to close their mouths completely. And when they do open their mouths all the way, their jaws can extend to an incredible 111 degrees. What's also really interesting about these alien looking sharks is that they're rarely seen. Most of what's known about them was discovered through accidental captures in fisheries designed for other sea creatures. They lurk deep down in the ocean, usually depths at around 4,265 feet. What color are sharks? Gray, right? Well, most of the time, but the goblin shark has a more translucent skin, making them look pink. Wait, are we sure these creatures are actually of this planet? Hey, real fast. If this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number seven, the Halitrophes jelly. Number seven spot on this list belongs to an incredibly strange yet hypnotizingly beautiful creature. Jellyfish are already alien-like, but the Halitrophes jelly takes it up a notch. Researchers were on a mission to gather ocean samples off the Baja California Peninsula, Mexico, when the Nautilus submarine, Rove Hercules, crew spotted something fluorescent floating by their windows 4,000 feet below the surface. They were stunned. They thought they were looking at an explosion happening underwater. It was like a firework on the 4th of July. The bell of the jellyfish consists of radial canals that help them move food through their bodies. And when submarine lights hit them, they display their beauty in amazing bursts of brilliant pink, orange, red, and yellow. The frail tentacles of this jellyfish are so thin that they look like they're just floating along with them, detached from their bodies, which is exactly the mechanism by which the firework effect is achieved. This jellyfish species is still rather unexplored, given that their translucency renders them almost invisible without underwater lights. 
thanks to the crafty submarine explorers, we have this stunning creature to admire. Number 6. The Glass Frog Translucency seems to be a reoccurring theme on this list of alien-looking creatures. The glass frog, or reticulated glass frog, as it's often called, is relatively small, only one inch. This little fellow loves to flaunt its belly as it leaps from one leaf to another, with the skin on its underside being see-through. This lets the observer see some of the frog's internal organs, including its heart. Reticulated glass frogs often reside in the rainforest of Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, and Ecuador. They inhabit vegetation along streams and are usually very active at night. Male glass frogs can often display their territoriality through loud squeaking noises they produce in attempts to warn trespassing frogs to stay away from their favorite spots. If the intruder doesn't leave, the glass frog will often engage in a wrestling match to assert their dominance. Male glass frogs are also very protective of their mate's eggs, often called a clutch, which the female frog lays on the underside of leaves, sticking them in place with a glue-like substance. After that, the males keep the clutches secure, safeguarding them from enemies such as wasps 24-7 until they hatch. Scientists believe there is a good evolutionary reason for the transparency of these frogs' undersides and most likely exist so that they can protect their offspring through camouflage patterns in order to confuse predators. Beautiful, unusual, protective, just how I like them. Number five, the blobfish. This ridiculous creature is often dubbed the ugliest mug in the ocean. And I'm not sure why, to me it looks kind of cute. The internet has definitely accepted it as a pop culture sensation, even turning it into a meme. In the depths of the ocean, at about 2,000 to 4,000 feet, the darkness and the water pressure makes the blobfish look relatively normal. It only looks like a booger when it floats near the surface of the water. These fish don't really possess any bones or muscle, and they don't really need to, since the pressure in the depths of the ocean performs their function. They don't actively hunt either. Their diet consists of small crustaceans like crabs, sea urchins, and shellfish. These snacks are sucked into the mouths as it floats long. This curious creature hasn't been studied much because it's usually unavailable for observation, given that it's mostly situated in the depths of the ocean where they are often unreachable. They have been spotted near Tasmania, Australia, and New Zealand. Scientists believe they are a species in danger of extinction. Number four, the water bear. Mini space bears, anyone? Colloquially known as water bears or moss piglets, tardigrades are minuscule animals with plump bodies and scrunched up heads. They have eight legs and hands with four to eight claws on each. There are over 1,000 known species within the tardigrades. Their weird cuteness is starkly contrasted with their near indestructibility. Apparently, they could survive being in space. These microscopic bears are prone to dehydration, so they usually require a thin layer of water around them, but they were observed in all different kinds of environments, from depths of the ocean to the dry sands of the desert. Freshwater mosses and lichens are the habitat they feel most comfortable in. Although they don't look very tough, their exterior is actually covered in strong cuticles, similar to praying mantises, grasshoppers, and some other insects to which they're related. In order to grow, they have to shed their tough cuticle, much like other insects. They possess a recognizable specialized mouth part called a buccal pharyngeal apparatus, which serves the function of sucking nutrients from plants and microorganisms. Water bears are extremophiles, meaning that they can survive conditions that most other organisms can't. They are also capable of living in temperatures as cold as below zero or above boiling. This resilience to extreme environmental conditions is a result of a unique protein in their body known as a damage suppressor, or DSEP, which serves as a protection from ionizing radiation present in water, soil, and vegetation. These adorable creatures have another trick up their proverbial sleeves, cryptobiosis, which is a state of inactivity triggered by dry environments. When environmental conditions dictate, they squeeze all the water in their bodies, retract their heads and limbs, roll up into a little ball and become dormant. When conditions allow, they unfurl themselves. It's a pretty neat trick. Number three, the Dumbo octopus. 
Crimpotuthis, also known as the Dumbo octopus, is one of the cutest and strangest creatures that inhabit the oceans. All 13 recognized species within the Grimpotuthis share a characteristic that make them all so adorable, their ear-like fins, similar to the Disney character we all know and love. This is where their colloquial name Dumbo comes from. They use their ear-like fins to propel themselves through the water and survive tough water currents. They live in the deep open ocean down to depths at about 13,000 feet at a minimum, which makes them the deepest living octopuses that we are currently familiar with. These incredible depths are probably the reason they're not disturbed by fishing nets nor threatened by any other human activities. Their real enemies are predators like tunas, sharks, and yes, even dolphins. However, since they reside in the depths of the sea, they're rarely disturbed by these predators, which is the reason they don't need an ink sac unlike most octopuses. The largest Dumbo octopus ever recorded was five feet and 10 inches long and weighed 13 pounds. Most species, however, are about an average size of 7.9 to 12 inches. Also, did I mention that they look like an obscure extraterrestrial spaceship that just happened to drop in the deepest depths of the ocean? Number two, the star-nosed mole. This natural curiosity is actually a small mole that is most often found in moist northern parts of North America. What makes it distinct from other moles is its touch organ equipped with more than 25,000 minute sensory receptors, also known as Imer's organs, which help the mole orient itself in the world. These tiny fellows possess star-shaped noses, which are about one centimeter in diameter and with the aforementioned 25,000 sensory receptors distributed over 22 appendages. The star-nosed mole is functionally blind, so their snout has long been speculated to have some function in detection of electrical activity in its prey, which would help it be better equipped to obtain food from its surroundings. However, this claim has not yet been sufficiently empirically supported. Their nasal shape and small dentures imply that they are primarily adapted to exploit smaller prey. They're also equipped with some pretty cool capabilities. For example, they are considered the fastest eating mammal by many scientists, sometimes taking only 120 milliseconds to detect and consume its prey. Within eight milliseconds, the brain of the star-nosed mole is able to determine whether the prey is edible or not. They also have the uncanny ability to detect various smells underwater. They are able to accomplish that by exhaling air bubbles onto objects and then inhale the bubbles back through the nose where the scents are being carried in order to be processed. Also, their appearance is ridiculously cute. Number one, the peacock mantis shrimp. The undisputed champion of animals whose appearance could seriously confuse anyone as to which planet they came from obviously also number one pick for this list, the peacock mantis shrimp. This multicolored, exquisitely looking crustacean moves along the ocean floor, where apparently all of these wondrous creatures can be found. Its size varies from 1.2 to 7.1 inches. It may look harmless, but it will surprise anyone who just assumes they really are. They mostly inhabit the shallow parts of the Indian and Pacific oceans. They feed on crabs, and when hunting, they spring out one of its front claws and deliver a powerful punch to its prey. It will definitely surprise you that this punch is strong enough to break glass and is approximately 50 times faster than the blink of an eye. These punches also come in handy when the shrimp is attempting to protect its territory from intruders. What contributes to this animal's alien-esque appearance are its eyes, which protrude from its head and move independently meaning that they can see in two directions at the same time. Another one of their cool characteristics is the fact that they're capable of detecting colors from the color spectrum that humans are not able to. All of these amazing traits make the peacock mantis shrimp an animal so weird, unusual, colorful, and out of this world that one would be right to assume they're an alien in origin. Thanks for watching. What do you think of these animals that look like they're from another planet? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.